Hi, this is Miss Carol from the Broadhead Public Library. Our theme this summer is Tales and Tales. So every week we're going to draw a different animal. Today we're going to draw a beautiful mammal that lives in Canada and Northern United States. Yes, and that includes Wisconsin. We're going to draw the lynx. Let's look at this book cover. What a beautiful animal. What colors do you see? The brown around the nose? The white for the chin? There's black on the ears and around the eyes? And then what shapes do you see? I see the nose is like a triangle. The eyes are an oval, and the ears are a triangle. So we're going to use these shapes to draw our lynx. Now to draw a lynx head from the front, we're going to need white, brown, black colored pencils, or you can use crayons. All right? So we're going to draw a circle with a pencil, draw your circle, and then we're going to draw a line down the center. We're going to draw a line across. So now your circle is in four parts. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to draw a second circle on the bottom half like this. And we're going to draw a line across the middle. These are our guidelines for drawing the head. What do you think would be in this circle, the bottom circle, that uh, a lynx might have? If the eyes are here, what would be in this circle? Yeah, a nose. So, the lynx is part of the wild cat family. So its nose will be similar to like a bobcat or a lion. And let's start with black. We'll draw a triangle. And we'll go down and back up. And I'm going to round off the, the triangle a little bit for the nose. And then you can add little U's. What does that mean? Right, the nostrils. So and then we'll color in the nostrils. Color in the nostrils. And then this cute nose can be colored brown. And you just keep coloring. the um, mouth that would be the next part and with that I'm going to use I'm going to make a soft W so I'm going to go down the paper like this and I'm going to just make a little W like this and that helps create the mouth and then you'll notice down here, make about a 
a half circle and you've created the mouth. Now, you know, they are known, lynx are known for their long, white whiskers. But unfortunately, that won't show, show up on our paper, will it? So let's have some fun and draw long whiskers on our lynx. And then, have you noticed they have black spots? There's black spots there too. So have some fun and add some black spots. All right. And then you'll notice that also on the bottom, there is on the bottom of the mouth, there's a lot of white and brown fur. So that's the fun part too is adding those little details, adding the brown and white. And then you can add some little black hairs in there as well. All right. You know the next part is gonna be fun because this is what makes the lynx very special and different from the bobcat. Do you see the ears? And the ears have black tufts at the top. So I'm going to take um, brown and I'm gonna make the ears. So they're in the shape of a triangle. And then they go across like this. They have very good ears. Let's put another one over here. And it's time to add those distinctive black tufts. And they're fun. There. So we know that the um, ears also have a lot of hair. And so we're going to add the hair in the ears. You can add brown, you can add some black, you could add white. All right, hmm, let's see, what else should we add? Ooh, we better add those beautiful eyes. Links have incredible eyes that let them see very well at night. And so, and the shape of the eyes are very interesting. The shape of the eyes are ovals. And they're not, um, do you notice how I went to my center line and I went up from the nose and I did an oval. This kind of gives you a guideline of where to put your oval, those beautiful lynx eyes. The other thing I noticed is that, so we're gonna add a circle here and a circle here. And they have beautiful, there's black that goes around the eye. Let's add that. Outline them in black. And we'll color it in. Yep, go around it a couple of times.
Doesn't your lynx look like it's looking at you? Now their eyes are actually kind of a golden uh, hazel color. So you might want to get out, um, you know, maybe a, a gold color or a green hazel color um, and combine those in your eyes. I'll let you add that in a little bit. But I also wanted to add um, the, the lynx has a beautiful mane and so there's more that we can add around here also. And I'm going to use just a pencil to start at the center right up here. Just come down and I'm creating a little subtle L. Just adding, filling that in, coming down the side and I'm going to fill in the L. Why am I doing that? Because that is where all this beautiful mane is. And some artists will go up and down like this, or they might just do lines. So you can choose what you would like to do, but you want to fill in that whole area because that is the beautiful, part of their beautiful head. And then we'll color that in. And then you will have a beautiful picture of the lynx. I hope you enjoy drawing with me. And I'm going to close with the program with a little fun poem, including many different animals. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. See you soon, baboon. Bye-bye, <laughs> butterfly. Take care, polar bear. So long, King Kong. Stay sweet, parakeet. Give a hug, ladybug. And toodaloo, kangaroo.